What up boys and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded on this channel. I think it's been almost three weeks by the time this video gets uploaded. But, as you can tell, I'm in a little bit of a new space. I now live by myself, which is cool and fun, which means uploading is going to be a lot easier for me as I can record whenever I want. But yeah, this is a short explanation as to why videos have been few and far between recently. It's because I've moved house and also I'm still streaming every single day on trova.live forward slash bailey. It'll be the top link in the description. Uh, come check out streams. They start about 9am Eastern time. So if you need some morning entertainment or nighttime entertainment, if you're in Asia and whatnot, then um, check them out. But yeah, uh, today we're going to be checking out a video done by Clash Royale on the newest update. So this is actually a Q&A based on the most popular questions that they got. And today we're just going to chill, watch the entire thing or just things that I don't cut out of this and um, hopefully they answer some very important questions. But yeah, let's just watch this. I'll try and just leave the most important things in because I don't want to waste your time or my time reacting to it. But obviously I'll sit here and watch the whole thing and the most important things you will see and get my reactions to. Hello, I'm Drew, the community manager for Clash Royale. I know in the last video we said that we'll be covering duels and boat battles in the next video. But after seeing a lot of the community feedback, I thought it'd be better to kind of get a Q&A about Clan Wars 2 and the upcoming update. I it's agree, Q&A's Q &A are good. With Drew. <laughs> good. So let's take it away with the first question. So how does matchmaking work in Clan Wars 2? Good question. To put it very simply, each clan will have clan trophies. Clan trophies determines what clan league you are in, and then you'll be so matched against now. other people in the same league as you. Okay. If you're in Bronze League 1, you will not be matched against anyone in Bronze League 2. Clan leaders who were worried about what will happen to their clan stats and their current clan trophies. Care? So the plan for Clan Wars 2 Give is us some that reward. when a small Clan one. Wars 2 starts, there'll be like a trophy migration. Oh. And what this means is that your current clan oh. trophies will kind of seed you into a league. Got so you. if you're in Bronze League, you'll be put into Bronze League 1. And there's different tiers of leagues to climb up through. Each league has a trophy requirement. Mm -hmm. And when you're brought over from Clan Wars 1 to Clan Wars 2, you will be put at that trophy requirement okay. so that everyone's at a similar level but you were in the correct league. All right, I'm just going to pause there real quick because I need to pause at some point so I'm actually adding content to this. Oh, my hair matches the purple. That's quite cool. But anyway, um, essentially all that he's saying there is that if your clan is currently in a high league, you'll be transferred into a high league. So actually, I've just sort of let my clan rot a little bit because who cares about clan wars? But I probably shouldn't have done that because we're going to be transferred instantly into whatever league. Now, the positive to this is that all of our progress isn't wasted, but the negative to this is I would have preferred it to have felt more fresh and more new. I would have preferred maybe, you know, for say you had 5,000 Clan Wars trophies, you get a thousand gold for each of those or whatever, um, however much gold or something like that, or some star points or whatever. You get some reward or like a big chest, depending on how many trophies you have, for all of that progress that you're about to lose. Because really, it doesn't matter. Who cares about their Clan Wars stats? I certainly do not. Um, but yeah, I, I I guess I'm okay with it. I maybe wouldn't have done it this way myself, but I guess I'm not adverse to it. One of the biggest questions I saw was about the Good question. 32 I want this cards too. in the four war decks that you will be playing with in Clan Wars 2. So, no, you do not need 32 max yes. level cards. You'll be able what? to play Clan Wars 2 and participate what? in the river race with whatever level cards you have. Obviously, having 32 max level cards will help you out in Clan Wars and it will help your clan to perform better. Therefore, I'm assuming that a lot of the higher level clans will have these kind of maxed out decks, whereas the lower level clans, you can play with no. whatever deck you have, which is totally cool. It, it's, is it totally cool? Is, is it? You have to be max to be at the top. Oh man, I, 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 I don't even know where to go with this. So I am not the greatest player. I've actually taken a little bit of a hiatus from Clash Royale until this update has come out. Before that, obviously, I was streaming it daily. I was practicing a load of stuff and actually did a load of one v ones against other streamers that I did pretty well in. So I'm okay or it was okay as in a player i'm not saying i would have made the top league but my account i would definitely say doesn't match my skill level i would say if you know i have a percentage if this is my percentage of skill right so up here i'm the best player in the world down here worst player in the world say i'm like here just put my hands on a random and you know my account here is level one here is completely maxed 
my skills here, my account's probably about here. So what that really means is that I'm going to suffer because of card levels. I'm going to be playing against players that have higher levels than me because it's just free-for-all card levels. And personally, this hurts me, but it also hurts any other player who, you know, say my disparity was that, but say someone's skill level is up here and their card levels are down here, they're not going to be recognized as a good player because they're going to average out in the middle because of their card levels and their skill level. They're going to be somewhere in the middle of there. So it doesn't hurt me too, too much, but I just don't like the system generally. I Like on ladder, we will never know if the best player in the game is a level one account. We'll never know if they're a level nine account. We'll never know if they're a level 12 account because every single top one finish on ladder is level 13. So ladder is actually only the best of the lower 13s, which to me, I understand it's how they make money, but I'd prefer to have seen monetization shift away from card levels with a new feature like this coming in 2020. I'm sorry, I had to exaggerate the year there because this feature is coming out this year in 2020 and we're still relying on card levels to determine your high rank finishes. Anyway, let's continue. I hope the rest of this video is better. Another one of the big questions was about using your own card levels. So in Clan Wars 2, you'll be using your own card levels. Yeah, okay. And I, I thought guess part of the worry just of that is that you'll get match made against people with higher card levels. Yeah. Than you. The way the matchmaking <laughs> works in Clan Wars 2 is that you'll be match made with other people in your league. So if yes. you're in Bronze League, you'll be matched against other Bronze League players that are around the same level as you. The chances are that if you're in bronze league with max level cards you won't be there much longer because you'll be going up in your leagues because you'll be quite a high skill player and you'll be earning more fame and more uh, rewards that way what will happen to my I, d I, I don't i don't necessarily agree with that i don't necessarily agree with if you are a max player in bronze league you will go up a league because of your skill not at all. Not not at all. You could just play the game for... Well, not even play the game for a long time, but just play a deck that isn't good, have no understanding of the game whatsoever, and just max 32 cards and then still be in Bronze League. So I can still... I, I just... I don't agree with that from... Even from a game development point of view, I don't agree that if you are a level 13, you will move up because of your skill. All right, I, I don't want to run on this. I, I want the update to be fun and exciting and just, I want to have fun with it. But at the moment, I'm not vibing. So in the original Clan Wars, it could be a bit annoying when you just hit Legendary League at 3,000 trophies and then you were matched against a clan that had like 40,000 trophies <laughs> that was also in... Bit. Legendary League. You will never face a clan in a different league to yourself. People were asking what other changes are coming with the update. I was one of these. We have a bunch of new changes. I'll try and list them out very quick for you guys. Okay, let's go. So we are increasing rewards. We Good. are changing the shop. We are Good. removing quests and the three daily oh. gifts. These will be put into one daily gift that is better than those combined. We now have a okay. new videos tab in the inbox. Yes! Which you should go to and check out all your favorite Finally! creators videos that they can upload directly to the game, which is really cool. Discover some new creators. And we yes, have like a bunch I'm of, one of those. that you will notice, so make sure you read the long patch notes when I, I will. have sat down and written them all. One of these changes will. will be a coin flip mechanic. Well, I say oh. mechanic as if it's some amazing new mechanic. It's just a coin flip so that <laughs> people can't just wait out the timer or like win trade and stuff. There will always be a winner and there will always be a loser. Okay. This change won't be... Okay, so this is eliminating draws entirely. Let me uh, let me let him finish because I I don't want to have I don't want to speak before I get full context. So let me play the clip. Coming to ladder, it will just be in Clan Wars two for now. But if it is well received, we will look into putting it into all game mode. Okay, so I was about to say they're eliminating draws entirely from the game, but he literally just went on to say that it's not in ladder and stuff. Um, I like that they're experimenting with it. I don't know how well it will be received generally. I think um. Eliminating draws generally is good, but eliminating them on a coin flip maybe isn't. You know what? I just went on and spoke about this for a bit and then realized I was disagreeing with what I was saying. So actually, I'm in favor of it. I've argued myself into being in favor of a feature. Fine by me. With the removal of quests, we've actually added a bunch of progression into the Clan Wars rewards themselves. Okay. So that leads on nicely to the next question that i saw which was progression i just want to say the best place to level up your cards in clash royale is now in 
Clan Wars. Okay. If you want to progress, if you want to level up your cards, you should be okay. playing Clan Wars. But you can join clans like straight away after the tutorial. We have lowered oh. the entrance for wars to King Level 6. It used to be King Level 8. Oh. Here's a quick look at some of the reward changes just in a really simple format. And if you want to know more, <laughs> after Clan Wars 2 has been released, I will put some okay. information in. Chill, 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 chill. There was a lot. It used to be King Level okay. 8. Wait. Here's a quick look these. at some of the reward changes. gold, whether you win or lose. Okay. Changes more gold. just in a really simple format. Get gold instantly. No more waiting for your chests. Oh, so gold is no longer in chests. I like that because nobody was sat at a chest anyway being like, oh, I wonder how much gold I'm going to get. Just just give me it. And if you want to know more, after Clan Wars 2 has been released. First place in any league guarantees you a legendary card. Least, okay, we'll have to see more about that when it comes game out. About the rewards. Or maybe even before it's released. More cards in Clan Wars 1, Earn Gold so Daily. So there are some okay. clan leaders on Twitter who messaged me about like burnout. This. And like in the last video, we said... The best thing you can do for your clan is play all of your war decks every day. That can be quite a lot and is already yes. more than Clan Wars 1. Well, yes. the good thing is you don't need to play these battles to help out your clan. If 50% of your clan play four battles a day, that is enough to at least get you on the rewards leaderboard and complete the river race, right? If you are uh, just a casual clan, you can still get rewards and you can still play and you can still progress and don't have that pressure. Your clan okay. leader DMing you on WhatsApp at three in the morning, telling you to do your <laughs> war day battle. Not that, that ever happened to me. <laughs> How can King Level 6 players help in a clan with higher level players? One of the best places that a lower level player can help in a clan is in the PvE boat battles where your clan can go and attack other boats that are on the river race. This the damage is. persists. Any damage you've done to a boat defense will carry over to the next person that attacks that boat defense. But so say you do 50% damage to... <laughs> it's going to be hard to explain. Oh, you can't actually see it on the screen. Oh no, uh, give me a sec. Okay, so what I actually wanted to show here was this 6,000 HP isn't balanced depending on your level it's just your it's going to be your clan's league level i assume i assume it will scale so what drew has said is if you're a level six player the best thing you can do is play pve okay so let's talk about this in two ways firstly this is going to be balanced around whatever your average clan level is going to be so say i'm um, all level 13 to one level six which is basically what my clan is going to be it's going to be me and people who are on a similar skill level to me but let's say i have a real life friend who is getting back into clash and he's a level six how can he help me? Well, he's not going to be able to help too much with this because what's my princess is doing, I'm just going to make up a random number, um, 400 damage. His might only do 200 damage. I, I, th th that's off in terms of actual stats on how much a princess does, but you understand where I'm coming from. His cards are going to be lower level than mine and it's going to be hard of him to do because he's doing half the damage that I am doing and it's not actually going to help out the clan all that much. But the second thing I have wrong with this is that why, just because somebody is a lower level, should they only do player versus environment? Not to be offensive to this new mode, but PvE in games, especially mobile games, isn't the most exhilarating thing ever. If you take Brawl Stars, for example, the PvE modes are incredibly boring, and those even have, like, bots and stuff that come at you. This is just a turret that you seem to spam cards at. And I'm sorry, but, you know, putting a... A golem in the back, followed by maybe a night witch, or you know, putting an ice golem and hog ride at the river to attack these doesn't seem like the most exhilarating gameplay ever. So why, just because my friend is a level six, is should he only do this? I think there should be just a balance on card levels. I think you should just have the whole thing be tournament standard. And because my level 6 player isn't skilled enough, he's not going to help out, and that's fine. Because we can help him with skill. We can teach him the mechanics. We can teach him the strategies. We can help him with decks. We can't help him with his level 6 cards. And to me, it takes some of the fun out of Clan Wars because it now becomes this near elitism where, you know... You can't be in my clan because you're not max level and you're going to hinder our progress if I want to be a good Clan Wars clan, which obviously I prefer to be than a bad one. Any damage you do will help out your clan. Maybe if you've got level 6 players in your like legendary league clan, yeah. river tasks aren't the best place for them to be helping out the clan. Then what do they what do? What they can do though oh. is repair the boat once the boat has been damaged in the boatyard. 
Some clan leaders were we asking is, so. how they will be able to like judge performance. You will be able to see that from inside the new clan screen. You'll be able okay. to see how much fame people have earned, if they okay. are kind of pulling their weight, I guess. Everyone will be able to see these stats. It's not just clan leaders. So you can see how you're ranking in your clan as well, which is pretty cool. Okay. Thank you so much for sending in all of your questions. Awesome okay. to see how much interest there is in Clan Wars 2. It's really, really cool. Yeah. Really excited to get this update out to you guys. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, um, there is my review of a video. Um, personally, my question that I had for them, you know what, I'll just go find the tweet. So here's my Twitter, um, go follow it. This is really poorly cropped, I know, I know, but let me just get to this here. So this, um, was my question to them. They asked a load of questions for this Q&A. Um, will there be any other game modes or playable features added outside of Clan Wars? If not, any plan for future updates? Because to me, um, game modes and playable future, uh, features are the most crucial thing that should be added. Uh, new things to play, new ways to play, instead of just, you know, having 10 elixir, 4 cards in your hand, and playing the game should be added. Um, unfortunately, this wasn't directly... Uh, answered. I did say that my question had been answered when they were talking about new features, but they were also talking about quality of life in that video. So, personally, um, my question wasn't completely answered, and I doubt they're watching this, but I, I don't know. I, I, I just hope there's more things than just Clan Wars, but it's looking more doubtful. Uh, outside of this, I think the update is guaranteed for the 31st of August. Uh, they said the last time you're going to be able to collect your clan chest is this coming weekend, which will be, I believe, the 29th and 30th. And then, of course, you'll be able to play Clan Wars on the 31st. Or at least that there is uh, my estimation for when the update will be out. But yeah, there's my reaction to that Q&A. Um, personally, I like the concept of the Q&A. I like that they did it. I like that they put out a tweet which got, you know, almost a thousand responses and they summed up the most popular questions, I would have assumed, and answered those in a video. Um, that's a big positive. Um, maybe a little negative is that we basically have confirmation that level dependency will be a thing which just isn't fun for anyone. Um, so... Yeah, and I think we also got confirmation that Clan Wars 2 will be the only thing in this update. And that the update is going to be on the 31st. So, you know, my last couple of videos have been sort of positive. I'm due a negative one, and this might be the negative one. I've tried to keep the tone high. I've tried to keep my expectations low. And I've tried to analyze... Anal uh, tried to analyze. That's not a word. Tried to analyze everything fairly. And the conclusion I come to here is that card levels are unfair. Clan Wars 2 might be the only thing coming, and the update is on the latest day possible, even though we probably knew that already. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this down in the comments down below. I've been recording for over 20 minutes now, which is not fun for my own editing sanity. So yeah, um, let me know what you think of it down below. Um, I'll try and make another video. Oh, well, I'll definitely make a video on update day. What is the date today? Okay, it's the 23rd. So maybe you'll see me in a week. Remember, if you want to see some more of me and my stupid purple hair, then uh, come to trover.live forward slash barely. Daily live streams there, 9 a.m. Eastern every single day for like six hours. So, you know, there's a, there's a big time slot there to like 3 p.m. Eastern. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that jazz. And just, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. And peace.